Right now is a good time to be taking advantage of biotech stocks. Specifically, just about any COVID play should bring great opportunities to make a profit. Last week, I released a video about the top penny stocks to be getting into. And one of those stocks is up 80% on positive news today. In this video, I'm going to be telling you about IBIO and why it ran up today and where I expect it to go in the short term. And we're going to be starting right now. Hey, what's going on? It's Pat from Top Ticker Trades. If this is your first time here and you want to learn about growing your wealth through investing and trading stocks, make sure you start right now by subscribing and tap in that bell so you never miss a thing. I will see you guys in the video. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. We're going to keep this one short and sweet. I'm going to be focusing on the new IBIO news and what it means for the stock. IBIO produces its two COVID-19 vaccine candidates in modified tobacco leaves using a plant-based growing system that it refers to as fast farming, which IBO says they can use to produce vaccine doses at mass commercial scale more quickly than any other methods. IBIO is working with a team out of Texas A&M led by Dr. James Samuel, a regents professor and also the head of the Department of Microbial Pathogenesis and Immunolo Immunology at the College of Medicine. Samuel's team is involved in testing the vaccine in a suitable animal model before human trials can begin. So the news that we got today was that they are currently testing two vaccine candidates on mice, which can model the potential immunizing capacity of the vaccine. Information from the mouse responses just started coming out today, and the company says they are thrilled, keyword thrilled, that the mice responded immunologically quite well. Samuel said, the mice are responding the way that they were predicting the mice to respond. In addition to Samuel's lab, he said IBIO has also partnered with the Infectious Disease Research Institute, well known for vaccine formulations and clinical trials, who are providing the adjuvant component of the vaccine. An adjuvant stimulates a better immune response within vaccine recipients, according to the Centers for Disease Control. Now, the types of adjuvants that would be best were predicted in the SARS experimental model or experimental model systems, Samuel said. The reason that it was even conceivable to have COVID-19 vaccines designed and tested in this time frame is because the related coronaviruses, particularly SARS, had already been investigated and tested and some important understanding was made. Samuel also said that all the biologics in the U.S., including vaccines, must be approved by the FDA through an investigational new drug application. Because of the immediate need for a COVID-19 vaccine, Samuel said the FDA has uniquely made available a pre-IND document to investigate the status of new vaccines while they are being tested in animal models. Pending safe and positive results, the pre-IND could eventually be merged with the IND to start phased human clinical trials. Samuel anticipates his lab will have collected enough data from the mice to get approval from the FDA to start phase one clinical trials in a small group of humans by the end of the year. Phase one, which Samuel said focuses on studying the safety of the vaccine, could begin around January 2021, with the potential to move into a combined phase two and three by April 2021, where efficacy questions are addressed in a larger study population. If this pathway for this material were to be evaluated clinically in a phase two, three trial with a larger population, 
He says that he would imagine that the vaccinations could happen in spring of 2021. Maybe they're going to have data accumulated about the protection incidents by early summer 2021. The associate dean of Texas A&M's Global One Health, Gerald Parker, said up to 10 vaccine candidates around the world are already entering combined phase two and three clinical studies three of which are in the U.S. Some of those vaccine candidates, including the two Samuels team, are testing if they get to phase 2-3. will begin manufacturing production before the trial results come out, and they will be stored until positive results are conclusive. Despite the financial risk and uncertainty involved with this decision, most policymakers remain optimistic. This is promising news. In the event that some of the clinical trials are successful, they will already have some doses of the vaccines available. The ability to, re to accelerate the development and making the vaccine accessible through licensures continues. The Centers for Disease Control and several state public health authorities, including Texas, are currently working on vaccine distribution plans on the assumption that the clinical trials will be successful. It'll be a scarce resource at first, but the big policy question is who gets the first dose? Those policy discussions are underway, which is good. And that, ladies and gentlemen, along with the COVID news that came out this morning, is what caused the biotechs to really rally today. Of course, I, IBIO really started ripping once this PR regarding the testing on mice was released today. And personally, I'm going to hang on to my IBIO for just a little while longer to see what happens. Probably a lot longer. I definitely feel that I can get more than what it is trading for right now. And I will also continue to hold my BBIV. Some other COVID plays that I want to bring everyone's attention to are HTBX, LLIT, JAGX, BIOC, SRNE, ADMP, COCP, and AIM. Keep an eye out on those. Don't just jump in wherever, but maybe start looking for a good entry. I'm actually going to make videos on those individually later, or not individually, but probably group them into maybe like three stocks at a time that I'll do per video, just trying to keep the videos shorter. Um, so I'm going to do that. And then later on this week, I also plan on doing some videos on the EV stocks that I, that I'm looking at or holding that, uh, are also what I would consider penny stocks. So expect those make sure that you're subscribed and getting notifications if you're not subscribed and getting notifications already that way you don't miss that as always please smash that like button if you found this content useful because it helps the youtube algorithm to see what you guys are seeing which is that i put a lot of work into these videos and that they offer a lot of value the algorithm can't see that on its own so we need to help that algorithm guys make sure you smash that thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed and i will see you guys in the next video